data analyst is not the top ranked data role anymore. It's the data engineer and it's because with all this new data, companies need new people to design and maintain the systems or nothing works. Wait a second, the data analyst role is not dead though. Understanding data is more important than ever. With more data, we need more data analysts than ever before as well. I know people that started as data analysts realized that data engineering pays more and was better for them and then completely transitioned, which is pretty easy. And I know other people that stayed as a data analyst and love their job. Let's go through the differences and which role is best for you. I'll cover the responsibilities, the exact skills and qualifications you need to get a job and compare the pay between the two roles. Finally, I'll share my personal recommendation on what to do if you're just getting started, because if you do it right, you can get a data job fast and make a lot of money. So we're just going to get started. And here, as you can see, the responsibilities of a data analyst is collecting, interpreting data, analyzing results and pinpointing trends, creating data visualizations and reports, and also, of course, help enable data driven decision making in the company. All really, really important things. Now for data engineer, it's going to be similar, but also very, very different. It's going to be to design, build and maintain data architecture, manage data pipelines and ETL, extract, transform, load processes. Also ensure that all the data is of highest quality, ensure that it's available and also that it's accessible to everyone that needs to have the data. Data engineer will also monitor and optimize system performance. And all of this is really important because if the data isn't stored properly, if it's not maintained properly, then a data analyst or data scientist or machine learning engineer cannot use the data in an effective way, which is why data engineer really laid the foundational work. Now, I do want to warn you that you should definitely read the job description because responsibilities can vary a lot, especially when it comes to data analysts. Now, when it comes to getting a data analyst job, here are some of the qualifications for an entry-level job in data analysis. First of all, we have some knowledge of programming languages like SQL. We have proficiency in Excel, which is really important. If you're not proficient in Excel at this point, then what are you doing? Plus, you can also use tools like ChatGPT to basically do everything in Excel. You can just ask you to do something and it's going to give you a really nice formula. Plus, you need some presentation skills to actually present the information to stakeholders and visualize it. And also, of course, a bachelor's degree is preferred according to this listing, but it really depends. This listing actually talks about strong conscious leadership skills, but I don't really think that's a very strong thing in data analysis in general. But problem solving skills are really, really important. Now, as you can see, this list is much longer. We have the data engineer, which is first of all, you need SQL, but this is just one example of a job listing that I found on Indeed. So it doesn't necessarily have to look like this for every single job. It just depends on this one job role. In this case, you need to understand the Azure data platform. You should know Power BI and Python. I'm not really going to go deep into the other stuff because it really depends on the company, but it's just going to be really important to understand databases a lot, understand a cloud platform, and also understand SQL and Python. And that's when we get into the actual qualification. So for a data analyst, you'll need preferably a bachelor's degree, but you don't always need it because it really depends on the job listing. Data analyst is one of the few entry level jobs in data, and you don't necessarily need a bachelor's degree, but it's really going to help you a lot. And some listings do require it. Preferably, it's in a quantitative field, for example, computer science, math, finance, and statistics, because you get taught a lot of the sort of foundational skills, dealing with data, math, and so on. Also, some in-demand skill training can be really useful, especially online courses, boot camps, and so on, that really teach you the most updated skills and in-demand trainings, because sometimes the actual bachelor's degrees don't necessarily teach you the most in-demand skills. For example, most computer science degrees teach very little SQL, so if you have a lot of SQL from online courses and stuff like that, you can actually beat someone with a computer science degree. Now, I have something exciting to tell you guys. I've been using NordLocker to store my work files in the cloud securely for quite a while now. My files are accessible, they're safe, and it's super easy to use. So when NordLocker reached out to me to sponsor this video, it was an obvious yes. I feel like a lot of people, including myself, don't really prepare for the worst case scenario because we think that our computers are going to be fine, that our hard drives are always going to be accessible and that everything is going to work. That really isn't the case. I love Nord. They make really good products like NordVPN and I've partnered with them in the past and NordLocker is no different. It's a great way to store your work files securely in the cloud and you can collaborate easily and share files with your team. Your computer could always be stolen or just break down and it always feels good knowing that my files are safe and secure even in the worst case scenario. Mario. NordLocker is super affordable and for just a few bucks you can get 500 gigabytes of cloud storage and all of their premium features. So if you're looking for a secure and easy to use file encryption solution, I highly recommend NordLocker. I guarantee that they have a plan that's going to work for you and plus they also offer a free trial of their business plan. I'll leave a link in the description to that. So again, thank you to NordLocker and now let's get back to the video. For data engineer, you'll actually need a bachelor's or master's degree. Now if you do have a lot of experience, for example as 
data analyst or something like that, you can definitely transition without a bachelor's degree. But if you're just getting started, honestly, I would say that a bachelor's degree and master's degree is usually going to be needed. It depends on your position, of course, and your experience. But I do recommend that you start out as a data analyst if you don't have a lot of experience, because essentially you need a lot more qualifications to become a data engineer. And you also need a strong technical background because you need to understand everything. Data is really important, but now you're not just going to be analyzing data, but you're also going to be maintaining the data, making sure it's clean, making sure it's good, making sure it's well stored. To accomplish all of these things, you'll also need strong programming skills, usually in Python and SQL, but it can also be other languages if you need so. And here's a way to visualize everything that I want you to take a look at. So as you can see, we have the foundational data engineer in the bottom. That's really building the foundation for everything that's to come. Then we have a data analyst or data scientist, and finally a machine learning engineer at the top that automates everything. But of course, this is a very simplified data science hierarchy, and it really depends on the company and what you're going to be working on. There's usually a lot more roles involved, and this is just a really simple way of visualizing it. So just to clarify the skills and tools that you'll need, and also these are just the main things because there's no need to overcomplicate it. Firstly, we have SQL as a data analyst, Python or R, Power BI and Tableau, or one of them, AVS or Microsoft Azure. And as a data engineer, you'll need some more things. You'll need SQL just like a data analyst. You'll need Python, but on a much higher level usually. You'll also need a solid understanding of big data and tools to work with it, for example, Apache Spark. You will also need cloud skills, for example, AVS, Azure, or Google Cloud Platform. It really depends on the company. I would say that the most common are AVS or Azure. And also, like I said, you can also need some other programming languages like Java, for example, depending on the company and the tasks that you're working on. When it comes to the salary, entry-level data analyst is around 50 to 60k in the US. It, of course, depends on your location, your country, or your state, and so on. Mid-level, 70 to 80k. Senior, 80 to 110k, which is a lot of money. But as you can see, a data engineer basically starts to make the same as a senior data analyst with 80 to 100k, 100k to 120, and then 120 to 160k senior level. These stats will greatly vary depending on your location, employer, industry, company, and so on. So it really depends. These are just some estimates. So my recommendation to you, you should become a data analyst if you're someone who is really interested in interpreting data and finding trends, if you enjoy working with numbers and statistical analysis, and if you're more inclined towards like business decisions and reporting rather than the super technical stuff. And as you can see, those aren't a huge fan of math and programming. For data engineer, it's really those who are interested in the technical aspects of data handling, its generation, storage, and processing, and also people that have really strong coding skills and system design skills. And also, it does take some higher technical requirements to get your first job, so I would say that if you're just starting out, you should probably look into another data role. Check out the links in the description if you want help to become either a data analyst or data engineer. Check out this video right here to learn more about becoming a data analyst.